What's up, y'all? I'm Goji Games in Pro Inc. All right, so now I'm gonna head for Hazy Maze Cave. I think that's what it's called. Let's see. Yeah, Hazy Maze Cave. Swimming beast in the cavern. All right, so yeah, in this level, this is where I unlock the metal cap. And yeah, I'm gonna go for the one in, uh, near the rolling rocks or rolling stones. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not talking. And uh, for uh, for. For those of you who know what the rolling who the rolling stones are, well, pun not intended, because I'm talking about those stones here and not the band. All right, let's see. Oh crap, I messed up. All right, that should be good. Oh uh, yeah, pretty quick star. That's uh, not too hard. Not not too hard. Yeah, I was I wouldn't say too easy because you have to avoid the rolling rocks and it's a little tricky for uh, new guys. Well, maybe it's just me because when I went, the first time I tried that out, I had a bit of trouble with the rolling rocks. I mean, I'm not sure if it's R R R N G related or or if it, or if it has a pattern or something. But yeah, it doesn't matter as long as I can avoid them, everything is fine. All right, so now I'm gonna go down in the cavern and unlock. Uh, no, not I won't unlock the metal cap yet. Well, unless I can, but. I mean, I can, but unless uh, that's what I decide to do once I'm down there. All right, let's see. Down here. Well, I mean, up here a little bit because it's a, uh, it's going, uh, it's ascending a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna go down there. Here we go. That's a way to avoid falling damage. Thanks to the ground pound, uh, Mario's immune to falling damage. <laughs> All right. Uh. Yeah, maybe I should unlock the uh, the metal cap because there are red coins in there. Yeah, that's pretty much my only reason. Because uh, it's, it's because there are rolling, uh, red coins in there. Right, there it is. There is my there is my big dinosaur. I think it's a dinosaur. I mean, it should be. I mean, that dinosaur uh, remind that beast reminds me. Whoa, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> Stop kissing that little island or whatever, and go that way. It reminds me of one of those uh, plushy dolls I used to have, or plushy toys, I should say. Oh crap! No, no, no! Hey, get back here! Get back here! Okay, I can still make it. Yeah. All right. Not too bad. Not too shabby. All right, Mario. It's time for you to learn the invincibility upgrade: how to become invisible. Not invisible, invincible! Damn it. What's with my what's with my vocabulary today? I can't concentrate on what I'm saying. I mean it's for me it's kinda hard to concentrate on uh, on uh, my commentary while I'm concentrating on the game at the same time. Yeah, these uh, flying shy guys, whatever I whatever they're called. They just stand there ready and they're ready to die, I guess, because there's no way they can kill me while I'm in Metal Mario form. Alright. Activate. Yeah, now I got them all. I got all of the, all the uh, special caps. All right, go down there. Get the rest of the red coins. Get the star and finish what I started with Hazy Maze Cave. There we go. Oh yeah, and after I'm done with Hazy Maze Cave, uh, well, I mean, in the next part, I'm gonna finish what I uh, started with uh, s uh, some other. Levels I couldn't finish because I needed the metal cap or the invisible cap or... I totally forgot. Yeah, I still don't know what the invisible cap is called. I want, I'm, I just gonna, I'm just gonna call it the Ghost Mario cap. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not gonna... I'm not... I don't wanna go there yet. I wanna get those stars in there. Alright. All right, now I'm gonna head for... Uh, now I'm gonna go for... There's two stars down in the cavern. You know, get that, at, <clears throat> get that, those stars out of the way, so I don't have to go back down. And yeah, then I'm gonna take care of all the other stars I I can collect, especially the red coin star and the hundred coin stars, because I mean, the hundred coin star because these two are my worst enemies. Well, in this level, my worst enemy is pretty much the hundred coin star. All right, here we go. Ah, don't worry, Mario. Quit, quit your whining. All right, here we go. 
It seems like Mario is a little slower when he's in uh, when he's in Mel form. I mean, maybe it's just me, but it just looks like it because uh, maybe maybe it's because of the camera. I mean, I, I don't think it would be really. I don't think it has anything to do with the camera, but if, to me, it just looks a little uh, looks like he's going a little slower. Not because he's underwater, but when he's uh, still when he's on a sur on surface. All right. Okay. Be careful. I'm gonna play it safe. Okay. That went well. Or almost 100% well. <laughs> I don't know how I missed, uh, missed that star, but still I got it. Yeah, that one can be a little tricky. I mean, the basement the basement courses are are when the courses start be to start uh, to become a little tricky, but they don't get too difficult. I mean, they start to become difficult starting on uh, the on the, the uh, uh, second floor, I guess. I mean, I don't know if it's the second or third floor, but you know the one that, the one the the floor that's unlocked after you beat the second Bowser. I'm pretty sure it's the second floor. All right, so now that I'm in Metal Mario form, those rolling rolling rocks can't really hurt me. I mean, they can still push me back or uh, kind of stop me uh, stop me in my tracks, but they can't really hurt me, thankfully. But still, I don't like. But still, there's something I really liked in uh, actually. I mean, something that I actually liked in the DS version, which is, uh, which is, uh, well, if I remember, you can turn giant. I think it says Mario, and you can. Why do I? Why am I even using the metal cap? But yeah, as I was saying, uh, you can turn giant or something, and you destroy those rocks, and that's uh, that's pretty fun. But still, it's part of one. Of, it's part of the uh, one of the extra stars. I mean, I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe because they did a couple of fixes in the DS version that made it a little easier compared to the Nintendo 64 version and they wanted to balance things out. I mean, it's good to balance things out. I mean, everything should be balanced. But still, uh, I'm pretty sure there could have been another way. Um, like, I can't tell because I'm not much of a game developer, but I'm pretty sure some creative people must have had uh, some uh, some ideas up their sleeves, some or some uh, different ideas up their sleeves, but maybe they were rejected. Okay, how do I get on top of his head without falling in the water? Because Mario is being a little clumsy and slippery. Okay, dinosaur, do your job. No, you're not supposed to go there. You're supposed to help me get on that island. Or, whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down here, buddy! You're going way too fast! Okay. Okay, stop it, stop it. Ah, this is so tricky! How did I do it? How did I do it the last time? I really hate getting on that dinosaur's head. I mean, or should I, maybe I should call it a beast to, uh, because I don't know what kind of dinosaur this is. Okay, this is uh, not working. Go that way. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Okay, well. How should I do this? Uh, go that way. Yeah, it's having a hard time turning. Alright, there we go. Oh, so close! Come on! Come on, Mario, quit being dumb. Quit being dimwitted and get on top of that island. And dinosaurs, stop having a slippery neck. There we go. Finally. Well, I'm done with this uh, this part here. Hopefully I won't have to go back downstairs and Get some extra coins. I'm pretty sure there are some extra coins I can take. Maybe I can work on getting the uh, red coins and get the hundred coins it's, uh, at the same time. I mean, that's pretty much what I uh, what I do because all right, elevate for eight coins or eight red coins. Yeah, that should definitely help. All right, get the hundred hundred coin star and the red coin star at the same time because when you collect like, the red stars, uh, they definitely help getting. Uh, I'm getting a good amount of st a good amount of coins. All right. Gotta be careful here. Well, it doesn't really matter because I'm quite invincible with the metal cap. Don't have to worry about those fire jets. 
and you don't have to you don't have to whine like a little baby Mario because you're pretty much uh, immune to falling damage as long as I control you correctly and as long as you don't mess up or or as long as Lakitude doesn't mess up either I mean we all have to work as a team Mario Lakitu and the player all have to work together as a team all right let's see what's going on Oh, cool, a map. Not that I'm gonna use it or something. Uh, okay. Well, poisonous gas or something. I don't know if it's gas, but I'm, I'm gonna call this poisonous gas. Because that's all I can think about when I see, when I look at this. Uh, or maybe it's like, uh, something that's other than oxygen. Something that, uh, you know, the moles can breathe or the shy guy, flying shy guys can breathe. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're called uh, shy guys. Because they look like shy guys, but but instead they uh, they're they're like floating in the air and don't seem to have legs or so. I say I'm pretty sure it's some kind of some kind of element these uh, these enemies can breathe. Kill off these bats. All right. Well, sorry bats, but this isn't the bat cave. So sorry to apologize for all that. So I'm gonna have to get rid of all of you. All right. Okay, get rid of this one here. Get rid, get rid of this guy here. 68, 69. Yeah, I said 69. Yeah, well, who cares? I mean, who the hell cares about the number 69? Nobody cares about it. Yeah, I don't care. I sure don't care. You do? Do you care? I don't care. All right. Oh my God! What? A... I was kind of dim-witted. I mean, it was my turn to be a little dumb. Okay, so... Okay, I'm gonna head up there. Uh, I think this this leads me to the ro Rolling Stones area. Yeah, it does. Uh, where should I go? I'm gonna go there, be careful here. Okay, I got all the coins. Okay, don't mess up. Alright. All right, I'm gonna go there. Be careful. Okay, that was good. Everything's okay. Okay, so now where should I go? Whoa. Okay, that's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Yeah, just fine. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's another place where I can uh, where I can look for some coins. I'm pretty sure there are. Well, well, without looking, uh, looking for stuff in the cavern, I mean, I'm pretty sure there is. I mean, I could try something out with those eyeballs, but it's very, uh, it's very risky. But still, I'm, I'm gonna try, yes, I'm gonna try. Cause, uh, you know, you, n you never know until you try. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know, uh, yeah, you never know what's gonna happen until you try. Alright. I mean, it's probably, it's pretty much a risk to take. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay, bear with me, Dance Dance Revolution Pad. Yeah, I'm gonna call it the Dance Dance Revolution Pad. Uh. Okay. Okay, it didn't even look at me. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Hey, you're supposed to look at me! What the hell is wrong with that eye? Okay, that was really lucky. Very, very fortunate. Very, very... Fortunately for me, I got that blue coin. Blue coins? Love blue coins. Everybody loves the blue coins. I mean, who doesn't love the blue coins? They're very, very helpful. The red coins? Not very helpful. They just try to kill you in some ways. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks to the draw distances, or... Thanks to the draw distance, uh, I could see the red coin, uh, like, inside inside the uh, red block. I mean, I can see it through the red block, uh, through the, the block. Okay. Okay, um, be careful here. All right, got it. Uh, okay, I wasn't sure if that was gonna hurt, but yeah, it hurt. Lesson learned. Remember, ki remember, kids, don't jump from t 
jump don't jump from anywhere too high from the ground <laughs> all right 90 coins not sure if uh, not sure if that's gonna work but still I gotta try okay so it should take me there all right well now it's all about patience I guess I mean when it's about patience I don't really like that because uh you know, I, I like it when it's uh, at least quick enough, but when it's uh, kind of slow like this, uh, I'm kind of losing my patience. But still, with a game like Super Mario 64, it's not like I lose my patience all the time. I mean, especially with the later levels, I mean, maybe with the labor... Sorry, with the later levels I might... Whoa, 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 okay, that was close. I mean, with the later levels, I might lose my patience in, uh, you know, in another context. You know, you know, as in, I might get angry. I mean, who knows, maybe I might uh, actually start insulting the game. Because, uh, you know, by accident, because the later levels are very frustrating. And when it's very frustrating, I just start getting angry and start swearing at the game. Because when it's... You know, it's a, you know, it's kind of a gamer's tradition. You know, I, I'm pretty sure uh, pretty much all, uh, pretty much all gamers have their moments of being uh, angry at a, at a frustrating game. Okay, how should I? Okay, there's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. But I don't know. I'm gonna try, try getting uh, the blue coin from that eyeball. And if it works, then good. Okay, go that way, go that way. Actually, I think that's a really creative, uh, creative, uh, you know, a uh, uh, transport, a uh, way of transport. You know, it's a, it's a very creative way of taking you from one place to another by, uh, you know, floating or something. By using a floating vehicle. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Yeah. I have no idea how I'm supposed to do that. It's way too close to the edge. Okay. So I'm gonna have to look for... Uh, for some other coins somewhere. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are. I'm pretty sure there are. Okay. Well, that hurt. Okay. Hopefully, uh, well, hopefully I won't die in this area. Alright, where... Where are... Uh, I think there is place over there okay hopefully there is coins in there oh yeah one all right come to Papa yeah now I got it it's about time because that's my least favorite star in pretty much all the levels now I'm gonna head for the right coin star get out of here and finish what I started and yeah, all the other coins, uh, uh, not the other coins, all the other stars shouldn't be as frustrating because, uh, because at least I know how to do it, uh, at least I know how to get them, uh, you know, in a simple way. You know, simple way as in uh, not as hard, It's not, they're not as hard to get as uh, the, the 100 coin star. It's time to become invincible for a bit, find an exit. Uh, yeah, now I'm kind of lost. <laughs> That's where I came from. Okay, it should be that way. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, there it is. Lucky me. All right, get up there. Get the red coin star. Yeah, yeah. What I do want to say is that this here, uh, Hazy Maze Cave, uh, is actually a very interesting level. I mean, it's like, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but there's a lot of variety for a, a level like this. Still, it's kind of... It's one. It's not one of my favorites, I mean... In terms of uh, visuals, uh, yeah, it is uh, one of my favorites because it's uh, very interesting looking. But when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to the game... When it comes to, you know, gameplay-wise... I'm not... I'm not really too fond of it because... It's a, it's a kind of, it's a pretty uh, tricky level. Not saying it's kind, it's kind, it's kind of hard. Oh, that was close. Nearly got my butt set on fire by one of those fire jets. 
We all remember that in the, the Lethal Lava Le Lethal Lava Land uh, part. And uh, yeah, speaking of... Uh, oh crap, I'm going in the wrong direction. <laughs> speaking of uh, Lethal Lava Land, uh, the Lethal Lava Land part. It's like, I, I do want to say that I did enjoy, uh, you know, uh, talking to uh, talking with the Yo-Yo Man uh, while working on part 6. But still, I kind of feel bad for him because... Uh, I was the guy playing the game, and I did most of the talking. It's like I, I barely uh, allowed him. I, it's like uh, he barely talked for some reason. Like maybe because I interrupted him a little too much. But yeah, it's like I do feel I do feel bad for him because when uh, when I when someone's playing the game and someone's just uh, you know uh, talking to you and just watching your gameplay footage or just uh, you know. Uh, uh, just having a conversation with you you're uh, when you're concentrating on the game you should you shouldn't be really the guy who talks it's like the other guy should be a, a talker because when you're focused on something it's hard for you to talk especially for some some guy like me but yo yo man wasn't really wasn't actually playing and i was the guy talking the most i'm sorry and it was the same thing in his uh, Crash Bandicoot Let's Play Part 3 video. I did all the talking, but that in that one it made sense because I uh, I wasn't playing the game. But when it comes to my Let's Play of Super Mario 64, well, it's uh, still I kind of feel bad for him because I wish I let him talk more. Because uh, he was supposed to be the guy talking more and I also want to give him a chance uh, to have... Uh, to, you know talk about himself or something or you know uh, have a you know some have a his place on my channel I mean yeah it is my channel like you know goji games and Prank is my channel but still I still want him to have uh, his place on my channel like especially during our collaborations and especially <clears throat> especially in the collaboration like uh, our game exchanging program where uh, we both suggest games to each other and we both play them if, uh, if everything works fine. But yeah, hopefully in the next part I'll uh, allow him to talk more so that uh, I don't I don't sound like uh, everything has a everything is about me on my channel and me only. But yes, yeah, like I do want to allow people to uh, I do want to share my channel with uh, share with, share my channel once in a while in some of my videos. Because uh, you know, it's nice to it's nice to it's nice to have some uh, someone to talk to and uh, someone to, someone to talk to and there's uh, you know more than one person commenting on something. Because uh, you know, ha having a recorded conversation and even and uh, especially when it's a very uh, very decent conversation and something uh, that's worth uh, you know remembering about and stuff like that. You know, it's really nice. Uh, it's really nice to to have this kind of uh, this kind of let's play uh, or co uh, let's play collaboration and commentaries and stuff. All right, so before I end this video, I'm gonna see if Toad has a star to give me. If yes, then uh, I'll just take it. Okay. Uh. All right, he gives me a free star. Thanks, Toad. All right. Well. Yeah. That's my that's my first free star, I guess, unless you count the rabbit I caught in the last part. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. That'll be it for today. So yeah, subscribe, like, and comment, and watch more of my videos if you like them. And also check out Yo Yo Man's channel and uh, check out his Crash Bandicoot Let's Play. And yeah, I'll see you. In, I'll see you in the next part of the series.